On the Leaf, a light-hearted guide for the novice butterfly counter. Hi, welcome to an update from On the Leaf. Our last butterfly count on July the 8th gave us 133 butterflies. The following count on July the 16th will come in at 458, a very big leap. Top butterfly of this count is the meadow brown, in second place the marbled white, and in third and not so far behind the ringlet. Top moment? Silver washed fritillary butterflies in abundance. We set off on Sunday the 16th with 100% sunshine, a temperature of 26 degrees, so a good temperature, and we reached Selborne Common at around 10.50 in the morning. It's been a blue spring with those high numbers of common blue butterflies, but it's not long before we feel we've slipped quite seamlessly into an orange summer. It's quiet on the count, with one silver wash fritillary, a skipper butterfly, and a large white early on. Then numbers begin to build along the pipeline with the arrival of further skipper butterflies and yet more silver wash fritillary. We turn off the pipeline to head down to the woods, but before we disappear under the canopy of trees, there's a large area of bracken well above head height, and there are silver wash fritillary butterflies in flight here. These large pale orange butterflies, as we have seen earlier, are magnificent and easy to spot against a brilliant blue sky or the greenery of a leaf. Silver washeds love broad-leaved woodlands, especially oak, and you will often see them flying in sunny glades, feeding on bramble, or just, well, being blown about by the wind. But why are they called silver washed? If you look at their undersides, see this one here on the left, and this on the right, they carry these silver streaks, not always visible when they feed, with their wings wide open. Despite their large size, they are very fast movers, even when they are feeding. And when courting, did you know that they will land together and the male will shower the female in scent scales from these four dark veins on his forewings? Can you spot them? Here's the female. She doesn't have those veins. Down in the first meadow, we see 15 marble white butterflies in a very short space of time and a further 45, with 55 in the second meadow. Great numbers. We caught this female marble white rubbing her abdomen up against a grass stalk. She was egg-laying, dropping eggs down into the safety of the grass. The busiest of the two meadows on this count was Coneycroft, not just because of the high numbers of marble white butterflies, but also because of the high numbers of meadow brown. Talking of brown, butterflies are divided into different groups. The meadow brown belongs to the browns. They are known to feed on grasses, and here's the thing, the marbled white, which you might have thought belonged to a different group with its colours of black and white is in fact a brown butterfly, and its caterpillars will feed on grasses. The orange summer continued with the arrival of yet another orange coloured butterfly and another member of the brown family, the gatekeeper. See this female here, which we first saw on July the 19th on the transect. This butterfly is well known for flying around hedges and gates, and is usually seen in very good numbers here, the brightly coloured male easily identified by these black bands on his upper forewing. It's going to be a poor year for butterfly numbers. We've had real ups and downs, changes in the weather. But counting, trying to identify a butterfly, can enrich your life just with a flick of a wing or the flash of a silver streak. Until next time. <laughs>